Hello, good evening. Hi, hi, Robert. Hi, Adelie. How are you guys today? Perfectly fine, and you? Excellent. Well, I'm okay. I'm okay. I just have a little headache today. I don't know why. <laughs> All right. And Adelie, how are you today? I am fine as well. All right. Nice to hear. All right. So we're going to wait uh for some other people to join but if not we're gonna continue um with you guys all right okay. so robert tell us a little bit about you what what kind of job do you do robert well i my job it's just like kind of complicated sometimes oh my goodness because i'm a, a sales support Specialist, okay. but I'm I'm not only helping to the to the salesmen. Okay. I mean, I make offers as well. I, I'm I'm always checking the network systems, the internet systems that the, that the office has. Okay. Additionally, they they put me to just like go ahead and check the downloads of the equipment at the mm -hmm. customers' warehouses. Mm -hmm. uh, so. You do a little bit of everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Additionally, uh, I have to help to the accountants part since they have uh, just like put me just like the backup assistance of the accountants. I don't know why. Oh since my goodness. Since I'm an engineer, I'm not, I'm not an, an accountant, so. Right. <laughs> That's not your field, okay. Yeah. Ah, all right. Now, are you working from you told me or you're going back to the office? I'm supposed to go back to the office, but since it's a multinational uh, mm -hmm. company, we have to just like accomplish a certain type of protocols. Of protocols, yeah. All right. Of okay. Health protocols. Okay. Before before going back to the office. Oh, all right. Okay. Okay. So now, how, like, uh huh. Yeah, most likely it would take us until the 15th of july approximately wow okay all right but do you like being home office or not really it's just like the same i have the same <laughs> workload all right yeah okay okay that hasn't changed so yeah of course well for some people from other types of jobs it's either it has increased a little bit more or it has a li like decreased a little bit but i guess it's been the same. Yeah. All right. Interesting. Hi, Elena. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Freddy. Hi. How are you? Huh? Hi. Excellent. Hi, guys. Excellent. Very You're good. Right. All right. Good. Okay. So, Elena, you were celebrating Father's Day yesterday? Yes. I cooked <laughs> for my father. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, I, I figured. That's okay. All right. Nice. Very good. So, welcome back. And, Brenda, how was your day? Full of meetings today again? Yeah, it was, it, I think I have more meetings than the rest of the days of this week, at least. Oh my goodness, <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. All right, now, it's are your okay. meetings in English or Spanish or both? I think it's a mix, depending. Mm -hmm. If it's okay. with a client meeting, then it has to be in English. All right, okay. Otherwise, if in Spanish. In Spanish. Of them. All right, very good. Okay. All right, very good. And Julia is connecting right now. Okay, so guys, this is the last class of this week. We're finishing up the third week. Uh, Evelyn, very nice. And Manuel, welcome. So uh, we're going to wrap up uh, today's session with talking a little bit about fluency, which there's not really much to discuss because you know what fluency means, all right? I sent the PPT earlier today, so I think everybody has it and was, you guys were able to download it if that was the case. So I, I think I sent it like about six or so. So you already have it. Uh, what we're going to be working on, hi Maribel, good evening. So what we're gonna be working on right now is I'm gonna just show the, uh, the, the same PPT I shared with you. All right, let's talk a little bit about fluency, about what you guys think about what fluency is and stuff. And then I'll explain the uh, work that you guys are going to be working on in your groups. Next week is the last uh, week of the course, all right? And we're going to be on writing. 
All right, but we're, we'll have some practices. It's not like you're going to be writing an essay here on class, but like a short writings and sentences and stuff, okay? So with that being said, this is what I have, guys. It's the same thing that you guys um, had on your, um, on your WhatsApp group, okay? So we're talking about fluency. Let's see. Um, Elena, what's fluency for you? What do you think? What when you when you hear the word fluency, what comes to your mind? Um, maybe like talking without hesitating too much. Okay. All right. Okay. Nice. Adeli, what about you? Fluency. What comes to your mind when you hear the word fluency? Okay. Uh, fluency is when the people uh, talk correctly. Okay. It doesn't mean that we have to talk, uh, mm, I don't know how to say it, like uh, we have, it's not necessary to say a lot of war in uh, minutes, but if okay. you talk correctly, right. that is fluency. Okay, very nice, nice, okay. What about, um, who, wrote, who wrote on there? What, is Nidia in already, guys? I oh, know. No. no. Ah, okay. No, I think she's not going to be able to connect. She's having problems with Wi-Fi. Okay. Uh, what about Robert? What is fluency for you? How can you define it? Well, when we're talking about fluency, it's not just like the way or the pace that you speak. It's how you are able to interpret the, the message that the people that you're talking to, it's providing you at that moment. Okay. And how fast are you able to react and answer uh, appropriately to him? Okay. All right. Okay. Her. All right. Very good. Nice. Let's see. Uh, Brenda, fluency for you. Um, I think it's maybe how easy it is for you to communicate on a clear and organized way. Okay. In a different language. Yeah. Okay. All right. In this case, English, right? <laughs> All right. Um, Evelyn, for you. When when I listen the the word fluency, mm -hmm. I think in when people speak fast. Okay. I don't ah, know, like, fast. Like, okay. 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 That's fine. Fair enough. Freddy, for you, fluency. Oh well, I think that is the ability ability mm -hmm. to. Um, to easily contribute ideas wow. in a conversation okay. in the correct way. Okay, very nice, nice, very nice, very well said. Um, Maribel, what about you? Ah, Maribel, hoy tiene el nombre correcto. <laughs> Ajá, Maribel. Uh, I think it is fluency is when we talk uh, with the correct use of grammar, grammar. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the the vocabulary. Right. But we can. Explain easy, easy easily? the ideas. Uh -huh, easily the ideas. Okay. So I think teachers that some some people or oh, we can express our ideas. Okay. So so in English and Spanish, some people can express the ideas very right. good. Right. Very well. All right. Very nice. Thank you. Um, Astrid, what's fluency for you? Uh, fluency for me is maybe is the ability to speak mm -hmm. easily and mm -hmm. the ability to express your your ideas uh, articulately. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Interesting. Manuel and then Julia. Hi, teacher. Um, Hi, for Manuel. Me, for me, fluency is when the people speak in the same speed and is clearly understand okay clearly understood okay all right very good and julia what do you have for us what do you think um fluency is uh, for me fluency is the ability to, to can speak uh, with easy form and someone that has a lot of vocabulary all right. Ah, all right. Very good. Yeah, guys. I mean, we all know what fluency means. All right. And it is exactly what you guys told us is the ability to speak a foreign language, in this case, English, but not only a foreign language, like Maribel, Maribel was saying, we cannot be fluent sometimes in Spanish, even though it's our first language. 
but it is the ability to speak in a in an easy way in a way and accurately all right so it's not just about speed here is not talking fast people and i've said this before some people believe that if you're fluent it's because you speak fast all right that not that's not necessarily the case all right so it is the ability uh to speak easily and accurately all right so in order to get that easiness and that accuracy we need to like focus on these things we need to focus on grammatical correctness the correct use of vocabulary and the use of variety of vocabulary so that's why it's very important for us to know more words or synonyms all right so it's a very good idea for you guys like i know that probably you don't do that anymore but if you are still doing it stop doing that and which is if you're looking for a word in english look for the synonyms of those words for the meaning of that word in english not spanish that will give you another word to like learn and to acquire that means the same thing as the word that you were looking for all right so it's like the idea here you to like improve your vocabulary by all means like it doesn't matter how but the idea is for you to keep on like getting more and more vocabulary so you can express yourself better all right I, I have a, um, I just want to share this with you. I have a student, which he's French, all right? And he is um, reviewing English because he's like, he speaks English, all right? But sometimes he says, I don't think people understand me. And it is not because he is not pronouncing properly. It's because he has an accent, a French accent, but he's fluent, all right? I mean, he's accurate every time he speaks and he speaks is like his ideas convey and they flow from his side to my side in a very easily way, right? So it's the accent that he has like an issue with, but it's not because he's not fluent, all right? And he speaks in a, in a moderate pace and everything. So just because it take a while to say things, it doesn't mean you're not fluent, all right? So we have to like work with that and keep that in mind, all right? So what I want us to work on today, guys, uh, is the following. I have this, I know you already saw it. I mean, we're not gonna read the whole thing because it's a lot of information, but it's there for you to have it and actually to read it on, uh, at the right moment or the moment that you have available. But here we have uh, some steps that you may follow. Just give me a quick second, guys, please. A quick second. Yes, don't worry. ¿Qué? Ah, no, 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 no. Es amigo de uno de, de los que estaban, bueno, sí, el que estaban los que estaban, pero no sé por qué. Bueno, ¿Qué? 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 All right, guys, I'm sorry. So as I was saying, uh, we have some steps that I want us to work on, all right? Uh, maybe not like all of them right now, but uh, for you to like keep on practicing as you improve or practice your speaking skill. So here we have some steps that you need to follow. For example, number one. Uh, Freddy, can you read a step number one, please? Yeah. Ask yourself. Okay, step one. Ask yourself what the topic is and what you are being asked to do. Okay. The topic is about the skill I have learned I need to. Name the skill, define um, the skill if the listener might not, might not know what it is. Explain its importance. Include details and examples. All right, very good. So in this case, when you're preparing to give a time response, because remember that sometimes it's easier when you're talking here or in your group or you're talking to a friend in english 
but it's a different story when you're being timed. And for the ones that were with me last course, I gave you a minute. I gave you a question and you were supposed to talk about that question for one minute. Remember that, Freddy? And, yes. and Evelyn and Zayda that were with me and Maribel. So sometimes you kind of block yourself because you are being timed and you feel that pressure, all right? So here are some steps that you may follow in order to try to organize your ideas within a minute or within a period of time, all right? So one of them is ask yourself what the topic is and what you're being asked to do. You have to be careful with that. You really have to understand what they ask you because you may not really understand and then of course you're gonna give a wrong response not because you don't speak the language, but because you understood the question like not correctly, all right? So one of them is ask yourself what the topic is and what you're being asked to. And they give you an example. The, the topic right now here is the skills that you have learned, all right, the, or that you have learned. So number one, name the skill. That's what you have to do. That, that would be like how you would begin your uh, speaking uh, response. Name the skill. The other one is define it. All right, as the listener might not know what it is. The example we were talking about yesterday about skiing, what kind of skiing was that? All right. Uh, then you have explained it's important. Why did you learn this skill? And then include details and examples of that skill that you are going to be talking about. Okay. Step number two, Maribel, can you go on reading just the, the headline, like, like the topic here? Step number two, choose your topic and quickly think uh, of a few details and examples. All right. Topic, topic, touch, typing, details and examples, work faster, fewer mistakes, typing more quickly and accurately. Accurately, accurately. Accurately, accurately on TOEFL test. All right, very good. So here you have to choose on your topic and think about the details and examples, all right? And that would be your last point within your time frame that you're being given. Um, Manuel, can you read number three? Manuel, Manuel, you're there? No? Robert, can you read number three for us? Step three. Step three. Sorry. That's okay. Go on, Robert. Uh, Manuel, you can read number four. Uh-huh, Robert. Okay. Work through your list of requirements. Record your speech. All right. Name the skill. Uh -huh. I or have learned how to touch type, and this has been very important during my studies. Define the skill. Ask yourself if you need to define your topic. Will the listener know about uh, the topic you have chosen? All right. Touch typing, it's a, te it's a technique that uses the senses of touch instead of sight to find keys uh, right. to find keys. Mm -hmm. Explain the importance to you of the topic you have chosen. The main importance of being able to touch type is that it helps me to work faster and more efficiently when using a keyboard. All right. Include details and examples. All right. You you may stop right there, uh, Robert. Okay. That's okay. Thank you. So here guys again Remember that you only have, usually you have like one minute to speak when you're being like tested on this test, by the way, all right? Uh, so here you have, you have to name the skill, all right? Define the skill, what it is, explain the importance, why did you choose that one, all right? And include the details and examples, all right? So here we have, then it goes on explaining and talking a little bit about that. And then you have a step four and a step five. Uh, Elena, can you read the step four, please? Yes. Step four, make a transcript of your speech as shown above. All right, and the last one, five, Elena. Okay, step five, make corrections to your speech, eliminating mistakes, long hesitation, self-correction, or repetitions. Perfect, okay, thank you, Elena. So uh, one of like, if, you're, if you guys are gonna take this test, it's a good idea for you to uh, record your speech, all right? So that's like, we go back to step number three, and then it relates to step number four and step number five. Why to do that? And they give you the reason why, because you make corrections to your own speech, eliminating mistakes, long hesitations, 
self-corrections or repetitions. Again, you really don't know what they're gonna be asked you to talk about. I mean, they, you have no idea what the question's gonna be like. But if you do these uh, processes, or are these, if you follow these steps, it might get easier for you once you hit and you get to the real test, all right? And then you have a step six, which says follow these steps to set a realistic goal to attain while preparing for the TOEFL test, all right? So again, you have to, it says right at the bottom, self, all right? Time yourself as you speak, time yourself as you read, and that will make you feel that you're being timed by someone else, and then you can speak in, a, in the same amount of time, all right? Then we'll go on here, guys. This one, this is, these are the exercises. These two pages that you see here are the exercises. The, when you get to exercise 18, don't worry, there's no listening there. The idea, they have the uh, headphones because you're supposed to record the speech, all right? But we're not gonna do that right now. So what I want you to do, I'm gonna send you to your groups right now, follow the instructions. For example, uh, here from exercise S14 to S18, it says uh, they will help you to develop your skill in choosing your topic for the personal preference task, planning your speech and presenting it. Who are you going to present it to? To your classmate, all right? So for example, S14, choosing a topic for the personal uh, preference task. In this case, which uh, that would be the type of question. It says, read the following categories and quickly decide, quickly guys, and that's the key word here. Quickly decide on a topic within each category that you could speak about comfortably all right do not take more than five seconds to decide okay so why are you working in groups because if i'm working with elena she's gonna time me all right so as soon as we start working i say okay elena you have five seconds to look at the choices and i give you five seconds and i count for her one two three four five and elena says okay i'll talk about food all right and then elena starts talking about it okay and then Follow the same thing for S15. This is S15, I believe. That the one here is, that they go on a sequence, so you have to follow the sequence, all right? And then uh, when you finish, for example, Elena finished talking, I want, um, together, Elena and I, we're gonna go back here and practice with analyzing your responses. And I'm supposed to be the, the one grading her, okay? So I'll say, okay, Elena, your pronunciation in the speech was easy to understand. Yeah, okay, I give you like thumbs up, okay? For number two, Elena, that's the, uh, the intonation in the speech. Did you sound natural, Elena? Yeah, you sounded natural, all right? So I give her thumbs up or thumbs like no so up, all right, as we kind of like analyze her response. And then she's gonna do the same thing when it's my time to speak, okay? Do you understand what you guys are gonna be working on? Yes. Yes. All right, thank you. And then you go on with the other way. I mean, here, if you notice, this is other ways to organize your speech and they give you another choice that you could like work about it, all right? And then here you have the very last uh, exercise that you can choose between talking. I mean, you can choose between these five topics, city life or country life. What do you prefer, Elena? Oh, I prefer country life. And then she's gonna tell me why she prefers, all right? So the idea is ourselves not exactly in one minute, but you like to speak accurately, easily, and to be understood, to watch your grammar, watch your number, watch everything that we've talked about before, all right? If you run out of topics, you choose your own, all right? And then you can just work on it, but you will have enough time to work about it, okay? So I'm gonna send you right now to your groups. So you may talk, uh, there's one group is going to have three people, I believe. Just give me a second here. Yeah, one group. There you go, guys. Evelyn, Freddy, and Nidia. Nidia, you're in? She was able to get in? Oh, yeah. You're working the three of you together.
media. Hi, Nidia.
uh, object of protection. Uh, and sometimes I think it's exaggerated the importance that they give to the care of animals and it gets over. In front of the teacher <laughs> right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Okay. Again, my topic is export. Uh huh. I, Maribel, you're terrible. <laughs> okay. Peter, I, I have, uh, I have only write, writing, writing, uh, two sentences. <laughs> <laughs> so that's because I am laughing, smiling. Uh -huh. All right, okay. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, okay well, my topic is uh, sports. First. So it's really nice. I like them a lot. Hi, teacher. Oh my God. Hi Brenda, I'm sorry, no have el botoncito. I'm sorry, we can't read it. All right, hi Brenda, hi Arely. Finished? Hi teacher. Not yet. Okay. We were talking, we were till we were still talking. All right, that's good, that's good. <laughs> About right. curses. Oh, okay. Yeah, because yeah. Brenda select that topic about course uh, courses. Uh, she was uh, share with me she was uh, her sharing? experience. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, interesting. Yep. Okay. And as well, uh, she provide me a uh, very important information. Maybe maybe okay. I will take uh, some of these advice that ah. she provide me. Yep. Oh my goodness, Brenda, you're an advisor. <laughs> That's fun. All right. Okay, so yep. what, what course is Brenda? Tell me, I want to know. <laughs> I was telling her that I was I was crazy about enrolling into a lot of courses during the whole quarantine time. Okay, okay. And at this point, I think I, I have done, I don't know, at least 20 or so. Really, Brenda? My goodness. So, <laughs> I'm okay. on those. <laughs> This is one of them. I just okay. uh, saw this one online, but the majority of them have been around topics like social media management, okay. um, Instagram mostly, mm. and Facebook. And then I went to um, illustration topics. I was telling her that I enrolled myself into an illustration um, course yesterday, no, two days ago. Okay. But it, it was free, but it gave you only 24 hours to complete it, and it was a 10 hour course. So I, okay. I, after the class, when I finished at nine, I had to stay until like midnight to get advantage of the time. Yeah. And then I continued the next day, but it was, it was fun. It was very okay. nice. Oh, nice. So all these courses that you have like gotten enrolled in, they have been free. Yeah. You have paid for them. Okay. Yeah, I think I have paid only for around two maybe, but they okay. were like six dollars or so. They <laughs> okay. were not that much. Yeah. Oh, interesting. All right. Now you have so, taken all these courses like through InstaFORP or different um places or no, I've been I've been taking well this is the only one for InstaFORP, mm, okay. but the rest of them I took them at a different places. It, there are a lot of um websites. Um, specialized on those type of courses I was telling at okay. Elite. Okay. Um, you then me, it's one of them, then Domestica, Creana, okay. Coursera, right. and then right, the yeah. um, US Embassy was as well uh, in alliance with some other institution that I don't remember the name. Okay. But they were giving very good courses about emotional intelligence and, oh, and topics nice. like that. And, okay. and, and um, NPL, I think it's called. Okay, interesting. Neuro linguistical programming, mm. something like that. <laughs> so okay. those are topics that are very interesting for me. Right, so yeah, they sound interesting. I, cool. So I you kept them. busy, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I, uh, what they call um, 
bookworm or worm, yeah. worm book. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm bookworm. something like that, but uh, online stuff. Online, all right, all right, <laughs> interesting. Okay, okay. And what about you? Did you take any other course besides this one online? No? Uh, about English or? Yeah, like, yeah, like English courses before online? Uh, not online. Mm -hmm. I I think I haven't studied English, any English course for the last, I don't know, maybe more than 10 years. Okay. This is my very first one, but I felt I was like, you know, missing that grammar structure mm, and I really right. needed to go back and practice Okay. because I was missing the basics or something. That's what right. I felt. Okay. All right. Nice. All right. And what about Adelie? I didn't know this was actually the... Yes? Okay. For me, this is the my first course okay online yeah and i i already uh, took another courses but no no reference in english okay uh, the previous courses as well uh, were provided by insa4 mm -hmm. as well yeah okay yeah interesting you know um i mean we have been working with this program for like the last couple of years and once we got involved with this, I realized, because to be honest, I didn't know that InstaForb has a lot, a lot, a lot of um, like programs or a lot of um, courses that they offer, like online courses, and they're for free, right? So that's quite interesting. Yeah. I didn't really know about it. I think they lack of advertisement because they don't really like, yeah. you know, say much about it. Like either you know because you're enrolled in one like somehow, but it's not because mm -hmm. you listen on them on TV or the media or the radio or anything. So I think they should invest a little bit more on making propaganda of their courses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I think it's a little bit complicated to get yourself enrolled in one of the courses. Mm -hmm. At least in my experience, it's been mm -hmm. super easy because we have a person um whose job is it's only that right cool uh, he's in, yeah he's in charge of the development of each of the employees so if you want to get enrolled into any course from interform you can just get to that person and that cool. person will do everything yeah. for you wow nice excellent very good okay all right okay girl so that was very interesting Adeli. i mean with brenda yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right cool okay well i'll let you keep on talking you have still like a couple of minutes <laughs> okay thank you. all right thank you okay brenda and right now i will talk a little bit about my my topic the moment you neither change i can change but it's when the people pay me for for the service for example in and that that company
Hello. Hi, guys. Hear me? Hi. Hi. All right. So, Maribel, did you have time to speak? Maribel keeps on laughing. Astrid se portó bien, Maribel. Yes. <laughs> it's terrible. Hello. Yes. <laughs> All right. Very good. All right. Guys, were you able to speak a little bit, each of you? Yes? Yes. All right. Okay. Very nice. Okay, so the idea here is just for us to practice a little bit with your classmates and everything. So we just, uh, you know, we keep on, we keep the rhythm of it. All right. So thank you so much, guys, for being this whole week. All right. Remember that we have the last week, which is the following one, and then we are going to be done. After that one, I believe we're going to continue with TOEIC one in case you want to get enrolled and keep on practicing your English a little bit. Okay. So um, I think it was, uh, was it you, Astrid, or Arely, for the, the problem that you mentioned to me yesterday? Who was it? Arely? I mentioned, I mentioned. Uh, Astrid, you did. Okay, so let me check it tonight, Arely, um, I mean, sorry, Astrid, and I'm going to text you, okay? All right, okay. thank you, guys. Have a great weekend. I'll see you Monday. Portense bien, Maribel, portense bien. Hi, Nidia. Bye, Nidia. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.